Located in the Campania region of southern Italy, the Campi Flegrei Caldera stretches near Naples, one of the most densely populated urban areas in Europe. This supervolcano has a long history of volcanic activity, including the famous eruption that created Monte Nuovo in the 16th century. The region, known for its natural beauty and fertile soil, also carries one of the greatest geological risks on the continent. Despite this, many people continue living on top of this ticking time bomb, which experts say could erupt at any moment. Recently, experienced scientists raised the alarm based on disturbing data, one of the most respected voices. Mario Tozzi, a senior geologist and researcher, confidently stated that an eruption will happen. It's only a matter of time. He referred to the recent seismic activity, especially the four, six magnitude earthquake, the strongest recorded since the last eruption, as a sign that pressure inside the caldera is building. According to Tazi, that earthquake did not relieve any pressure. On the contrary, it confirms that the situation remains critical. What's most worrying is the source of this pressure. Gas is rising from a shallower magma chamber than in previous Brady seismic episodes. This means the magma is much closer to the surface, making the risk of an eruption even more imminent. Recent studies support this theory, pointing to ground behavior similar to what was seen before Monte Nuovo formed. The constant uplift of the terrain since 2005 has stressed the crust, triggering increasingly stronger earthquakes. Tozzi doesn't hesitate to say that residents in the area are living on a literal pressure cooker ready to blow. His recommendation is clear. People should leave the area as soon as possible. He advocates turning the zone into a natural park, comparing it to Yellowstone in the United States, where residential construction is not allowed near high-risk areas. The idea would be to promote scientific and cultural tourism, keeping people safe and away from danger. Despite the warnings, both authorities and part of the population continue to take a stance considered dangerous by many scientists. Confidence in monitoring systems, while advanced, does not ensure safety, as an eruption can happen without warning. Tazi and other experts stress that the signs are clear and that staying in the area is a risky gamble with potentially devastating consequences. The urgency of the warning is a call to action that cannot be ignored. Over the past few decades, the phenomenon known as Bradyseism has been one of the main indicators of Campi Flegre's instability. Since 2005, the ground in the region has shown a steady upward movement, the result of growing internal pressure. This uplift, combined with frequent tremors, shows that the volcanic system is active and under stress. The ground is not only rising, but doing so at an accelerated rate, which presents a direct risk to the city's structures and the safety of its residents. The crisis intensified over the last two years, with increasingly stronger quakes, some exceeding magnitude 4. These tremors are not only more frequent, but are occurring in different areas of the caldera, including regions previously considered less active. The recent 4.6 magnitude quake surprised experts by striking a peripheral zone of the system, signaling that the instability is spreading. This behavior has raised serious concerns among geologists, who consider it highly unusual. Another alarming factor is the shallow depth of these tremors, often less than two miles, indicating that the activity is happening very close to the surface. Additionally, there is evidence that the gas being expelled is coming from magma reservoirs that are shallower than previously recorded. This means the magma is facing less resistance as it moves toward the surface, increasing the likelihood of an eruption. The region's geological faults act as natural channels for magma and gases to escape. Studies using geophysical methods show that areas like Solfatara and Picciarelli are riddled with faults that work like tunnels through which magma can easily rise. These shortcuts make the situation even more delicate as they weaken the rock layer that acts as a lid on the volcanic system, the infamous pressure cooker cap. Even with all this scientific evidence, little has been done to protect the population. Authorities are considering reinforcing buildings against earthquakes, but such works could take years. At the same time, evacuating hundreds of thousands of people represents a monumental logistical challenge. Meanwhile, the earthquakes continue, and experts warn that the next phase could be far more dangerous. Experts' concerns grow with the repetition of signals that have preceded past eruptions. A recent study modeled the terrain and volcanic system behavior before the Monte Nuovo eruption, and revealed unsettling similarities with what we see today. At that time, a phreatic eruption, caused by the explosive interaction between water and magma, opened the way for a magmatic eruption shortly after. This sequence is considered one of the worst scenarios, as it leaves virtually no time to react. Phreatic eruptions, contrary to what many believe, are not less dangerous. Although they don't involve flowing lava, they release steam and rocks at extremely high temperatures and speeds, destroying everything nearby. The greatest risk is that these explosions can occur without clear signs or prior warnings, making timely evacuation nearly impossible. Additionally, archaeological and geological evidence shows that such events have occurred repeatedly in Campi Flegre over thousands of years, always leaving a path of destruction. Another critical point is the gas saturation in the soil. 
Even fumaroles, which help relieve some of the pressure, are not enough to stabilize the system. At times, scientists observed a decrease in gas emissions in areas like Pissiarelli, which may indicate that some channels are blocked. This is extremely concerning, as blocked escape valves can further increase internal pressure, accelerating the risk of a sudden explosion. Despite all this knowledge, the situation remains virtually unchanged. Homes remain occupied, there are plans for new developments in the area, and tourist activity continues. People visit fumaroles, take pictures, and even plan to build hotels nearby. This apparent normalcy masks the real risk the region represents. As the experts themselves say, relying solely on monitoring doesn't guarantee safety. Nature can act faster than any warning system. The urgency is clear, yet the response remains timid. The growing number of quakes, the ongoing ground uplift, the studies indicating shallower magma activity, all point to a system preparing for something bigger. These experts are not alarmists. They are professionals closely monitoring one of the planet's most dangerous volcanoes. Ignoring these signs would be sheer negligence. Faced with this alarming scenario, leading scientists have been delivering a clear message. It's time to act. Mario Tozzi, along with other respected researchers such as Giuseppe Mastro Lorenzo, Roberto Scandone, and Giuseppe De Natale, argue that human occupation in the Caldera area is unsustainable. They advocate for the entire Campi Flegre region to be turned into a natural park, free of residences, just like Yellowstone in the United States. According to these scientists, the reassuring tone promoted by some authorities can give people a false sense of security. While politically convenient, this approach is considered dangerous the illusion of stability in land that constantly moves and shakes can cost lives. Tazi, bluntly, says residents are living on a pressure cooker, and if the heat continues rising, as studies suggest that cooker could blow, another worrying factor is the potential blockage of natural gas and magma escape routes. Frequent tremors, landslides, and ground movements can obstruct these paths, increasing internal pressure even more. Without properly functioning relief valves, the volcanic system becomes increasingly unstable. This strengthens the argument for a planned evacuation with safe, realistic alternatives for the region's thousands of residents. Although relocating an entire population seems nearly impossible, there are examples like Grindavik in Iceland, where thousands were efficiently evacuated. The difference lies in scale. Campi Flegre is home to between 500,000 and 800,000 residents, making such an operation far more complex. Still, experts insist that this process must begin as soon as possible, because time may be short. That's why videos like this are so important. Sharing scientific information clearly and without sensationalism helps raise awareness. If you've made it this far, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications to receive future updates. Let's keep following the developments together, always based on science and a commitment to truth. Stay safe and see you next time.